good day to you in my car with my cigar. It's a snowy day in Chicago. Very snowy. But what are you doing? Recently, I, you know, participated in a couple of funerals and experienced a couple of funerals. They called home goings in the urban community. And it's it's beautiful that, you know, when you see the amount of support that you get when it comes to a person's passing and you connect that with <laughs> the support that they get when they're yet alive. It's like, okay. But the most recent one was uh, Charles Allen. He was a, one of the father figures that I knew when I was growing up, a 17-year-old boy in the inner city of Chicago. He was a pretty amazing man. And I met him through the church. He was, a, he was married to uh, the pastor of the church. And when you look at the type of love that people share and the level of care that people have with you and you say okay I get that they're kind and I get that they are goodly people within this building within this religion within this circle I got to know the man within the church outside of the church I got to know him when I needed him I got to know him when I was at the worst place in my life. And when I say the worst, I mean, I remember having a flat tire. I was exiting on the interstate. I was on the highway and I was exiting. I had missed my exit and I attempted to catch it at the last minute and I caught a curve or something and blew out not one, but several of my tires, maybe two of my tires. That was the first person I called. It's ironic that I would call him and I could call him because he wasn't my father. Or was he? That one phone call, he made it his business. He got there. He did what he needed to do. I remember the tires were Firestone. And I remember him getting there and taking care of everything for me. And I remember that the tires were brand new. The life that this man lived, the legacy that he left, I don't think people even, some people that were even close to him knew the matter of man that he was. But I knew it, I shared it, and those who knew it and didn't share it, they know it. But what type of life are we living that people wanna talk about us in our absence, in our passing? as if we're still alive because their lives overlapped our lives and enriched it in that moment and had a permanent effect on the person that we are to become. And even though my father, my biological father was absent, the best gift that I received was from an absolute or seeming absolute stranger in the most difficult time in my life as a young boy. And he continued to be involved in my life in other ways. I'll talk to you about that in the future. But for right now, this is Arnold Tate, Arnold, Mr. Dad Tate, in my car with my cigar, reminiscing the life of Charles Allen. Make it a great day. Bye now.